Hey guys, Antonim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to show you guys how you can take your Minecraft Beta 1.7 maps, or your Minecraft Adventure Mode maps, and convert them into Creative Mode maps. And it's actually a really simple process. The only thing that you actually need is the World Seed for the given map that you want to transfer it over to. Otherwise, the map itself will spawn all stupid. I suppose if it's your 1.7 map, it doesn't matter that much, but uh, if it's a 1.8 map and you've done anything with it, and you would like to play it on Creative Mode and then transfer it back and forth, this pro actual process actually works in reverse if you want to take creative maps and convert them over to adventure it works in the same light and you just have to do these steps in reverse so if i go into single player here and actually go into my golden apple map as you can see on the description here let me go ahead and maximize it since you guys have seen it's my desktop as you can see it actually is in survival mode so let me go ahead and hit play here and as you can see uh, if you actually saw the end of hunt for the golden apple episode 29 this is where the episode ended off i had a staircase right here and built you know built this bed and i stored everything that that I needed to in a chest because any of the items that you actually have on you at the time of the at the time of the switch will not switch over when you actually create the map in creative mode because you're essentially creating a new map and just dropping all of your world file items uh, world files into the new map. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to escape out of the map here and go into single player and create a new world. And let's just go ahead, you know, call it Golden Apple Classic. Uh, I usually for whatever reason call it Minecraft Beta 1.8 Classic, even though it's not that. I mean, it really is creative, but I mean, I suppose it is classic, but I digress. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Game Mode button here to change it over to Creative, and then I'm going to go to More World Options, and under the Seed uh, seed for the World Generator, just go ahead and paste in the exact same seed for the world that you had prior. Now, if you need to find your seed, uh, go ahead and check the link in the description. There's going to be a link to a website that you can actually obtain your world seed, and there's instructions on how to do it. Um, it, it watch this tutorial all the way through and it's actually going to show you how to get to your quote unquote level.dat file so you just take that file upload it to that website it spits out a seed for you and you're all set i'm not 100 percent sure if it works for minecraft beta 1.8 maps like maps that have been played in 1.8 but i see no reason why it wouldn't so be sure to check it out but anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go hit done here so the the seed is in the name is in and i'm gonna go ahead and hit create new world and it's gonna take a little bit and the map itself in 1.8 is not going to spawn anywhere near the same. Uh, as you guys can see, I mean, there's, you know, a couple little cave entrances. That much hasn't changed, but I mean, it's all flat and it's got a ton of trees, which is more realistic and I definitely respect that. I just, I think the biomes are too big, uh, but I definitely like the changes. But anyways, uh, it is laggy because I'm not using fraps or my typical video recorders to record. Uh, there's a forest fire over there. <laughs> so be sure to check out the hunt for the golden apple world seed because it spawns forest fires amazing anyways i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hit escape here and save to quit and now you want to close out of minecraft and uh, go into your app data now there's a few different ways you can do this go to my computer and then my c drive my users folder my uh, personal users account name and i'm going to go to app data roaming and then dot minecraft and this is where everything is going to be here now you want to go into your saves folder and as you can see, I have my regular Golden Apple and my Golden Apple Classic Map. You want to go into your Classic Map and delete the data and region files. Just delete those because that's where all of the actual data for the map was stored, like all of the terrain generation. We don't need that because you're converting your old map into a Classic Mode Map. And like I said, this works and vice versa. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit back here. And go into the, the map folder that you want to copy all the data over from. And if you want to copy the nether as well, be sure to copy the dim1 folder. So take the data, dim1 and region, these three folders here. And then go to copy. And then go back and then go into the folder that you want to copy them to. Ergo the classic one that I'm doing. And go ahead and paste them in. Now the only real difference that you're going to find when you go into Minecraft... Actually, why don't I go ahead and show you here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to X out of this since all of the stuff is copied over. I'm going to go back into Minecraft here, go ahead and log in, maximize the window. And then when we go over to single player, uh, you'll see the Golden Apple Classic map. The file size is going to look wrong uh, just because the, the actual file size is actually closed in the level.dat file. So it, the file size is always going to be messed up. But I'm going to go ahead and hit play selected world here. And as you can see, uh, I'm in a rather different area. The reason why is because the actual location you spawn in is whatever location you were in for the classic map. So if I hit F3 here, you're going to notice that I am a little bit uh, a little bit away from you know my actual spawn point. So it's not going to actually spawn me where I was uh, in the adventure mode map 
because it's not the same level.dat file. The level.dat file you're using, all the level uh, lo player location information, is from the classic map. But as you guys can see here, I am flying around in my Minecraft beta 1.7 map. Uh, as you can see, you know, the infinite items, open up my inventory, everything is peachy, I'll take iron bars out, you know, just to show you guys that I'm not fooling you guys or anything like that. You know, I can place down iron bars and everything. And uh, let me go ahead and go into my house here. The lighting's going to be a little bit messed up because maps that were in 1.7 that came over to 1.8 do look a little bit messed up. So yeah, but you know, other than that, pretty much everything is here. And apparently a painting fell off the wall. Interest. And a painting fell off the wall over here too. Um, I never did anything with this room, so you just lost the game. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's pretty much the entire guide that I wanted to show you guys today. So, like I said, if you wanted to take your creative mode maps and convert them into adventure mode, like if you wanted to cheat your way into doing something, then, then you could do it. And uh, you can still place a chest down just like normal. Like I said, if this was a classic mode map you wanted to convert, you could really give yourself like infinite items and all that. And all of these items would actually show up uh, when you spawn the map in uh, adventure mode. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular video. And I hope you guys uh, definitely try this out for yourselves. But anyways, my name is Ant Venom, And I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.